Pry from Vagabond Recordings, and today we're headed out on location to go record. Uh, as you may remember from one of my previous videos, I do mobile recording, so I pack up all this stuff and I head out to wherever I can to record these bands. Um, today we're going to go record a single for Sleep Jacket. Now their song is on the tail end of most of my videos, uh, Fun and Games. You can go check that out on their YouTube and their Facebook. I'll have links to it somewhere. But today we're going to be recording in a barn and I will show you guys that when we get there. It's, it sounds um, like it'll be a challenge, but I've recorded there before and it's actually uh, it's surprisingly good. Now that being said, when I decided to start this channel, this is the stuff I wanted to do. I wanted to bring you guys with me um, to record bands and show you everything I do, how I set everything up. So when you hear the song, you can hear the direct result of it. And aside from that, I had no idea what else I wanted to do with these videos. So I'm working on that. I'm getting some ideas. Um, hopefully I'll be able to start rolling out some stuff soon. I want to do some mixing videos, gear reviews, the Samson. I still haven't had time to do because I want to do it right. Um, I did have some footage, but it, it wasn't coming out right. It was very rushed and I, I'm going to need some help with it from somebody who can actually play some of these instruments I want to record. So, that's still coming, uh, as is the review, shootout, whatever you want to call it, of all the other microphones I own. Um, but today, as we, as we get going, you can kind of hear how some of these microphones are sounding, what I use them for. Uh, we, we might try some, uh, some unique setups today for drums, they want a kind of different sound than they got on their demo. Yeah, so that's all for now. Um, I'll be getting more footage as we go. We're just doing drums today. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna release these videos incrementally. We're doing drums, guitar, lead guitar, bass, vocals. So I'm gonna take you through all the tracking, and then we're gonna go through the mixing, and then we're going to uh, really try our hand at the mastering process. All right, well, I will see you at the barn. Guys, so we're at the barn. This is where we will be recording. It looks like a nightmare, but it's not. It's got vaulted ceilings. It's nice and wide open. There's lots of stuff around, so that's going to help diffuse the sound and kind of beat back any stray sound waves. <clears throat> a lot of people think you need fancy rooms, and that's nice if you have it, but in a pinch you can kind of get by anywhere. So we're starting to set up, uh, get more footage when we get that going. That one over there, the car seat. Oh god. Do you realize this isn't for a modeling job? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're with Sleep Jacket. Here's Skyler Hi. on drums. Greg is uh decided to hide. <laughs> so we're all set up. We got the mobile setup going on. And the first drum micing technique we're gonna try is called Recorder Man. It takes advantage of the four four channels only. I'm going to edit the fuck out of this, because I'm awkward as shit. <laughs> so the first thing is, you can't see that very well, but we have the kick drum mic about six inches away from the beaters to capture as much click as we can. Uh, the recorder man requires a snare mic and uh, an overhead mic small diaphragm condensers 62 to 64 inches above the snare drum exactly and on the far side we have another small diaphragm condenser that kind of goes over top of the tom and points to the snare so it can capture the whole kit so with the mono overhead we avoid any phase issues 
and hopefully we get the whole kit so that's enough of my talking I'm gonna set this up and we're gonna check out Skylar doing his thing So we've tested the recorder man. Uh, I'll let you guys determine how that sounded. Uh, but we're doing a slight modification. We still have the mono overhead, but we're close miking the high tom and low tom, floor tom. Uh, still have the snare drum, and I'm going to do a video later that tutorializes how I set those up. Same kick, and we're going to just hear how that sounds and look. Good call. Uh, we did switch the, the beaters from the cotton pack. You cannot see that. There is not enough light. No. <laughs> but uh, outside of the plastic. Hopefully that adds a little bit more click. We couldn't get a click pad. We have Kevlar pads on there, but now we're using the plastic side of the beaters. So we'll see what that does. We're in the scientific method more than one thing at once. Yeah. But. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Yeah, I figure I'd, I'd mention it because it's we like can pick somebody's choose, watching but... this later and it's like, oh my god, that sounds sexy. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to that kick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. I think these oh, like, over the shoulder shots are going to come out awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I, li I like, maybe it's me, but the look of the symbols with that lighting is. <laughs> I don't know how it looks on the camera, but from here it looks really cool. <laughs> it's, it, they have this nice amber glow. Yeah. There's so many menus, I'm sorry. Uh, click, 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 click. Alright, uh, let's go to the kick again. Yep. Uh, hi Tom? Oh, it's my mount. Do you have any... Huh. Well, we went through this once with Allen wrenches. Uh, <laughs> um, I can look up the house. Okay. Well, here, I'll, I'll show you what size they are. If it okay. Helps. In the meantime, check this out, though. What is, is that Mozzarella awesome? stick motherfucking pizza. This is how I die. <laughs> it, it's these little ones, though. <laughs> <laughs> just hit, hit random uh, and here's how here, let's see how it sounds <laughs> that's how it sounded these little guys okay they appear metric to me so i'm gonna start off on that thought <laughs> uh this was back when they were made in japan so more than like yes <laughs> Actually, I was almost an Eric Daniel Jr. Thank Jesus. <laughs> I mean, not that Greg is awesome. Uh, but <laughs> given the choice. I'll take it. ED Jr. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't even think. Uh,
It definitely sounds like it's on that side. I this think. vlog is loose. Is <laughs> it? Oh god damn it! <laughs> I can quit. Two seconds. Two seconds. Right your time. Here. Well, at least I know that hardware's tight. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crank the blue. <laughs> oh god, why is that so loose? <laughs> Pamela Anderson on that. <laughs> How are you in comparison? I hope that didn't fuck up the tone. <laughs> it shouldn't. It's not that far off. <laughs> yes! <laughs> fucking Christ. I just had to do the, the tiger hold one fucking maneuver. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody could have faulted you if you T-boat it. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't know. I was waiting for the thumbs up or something. All right, let's. That go. fan just scared the shit out of me. I thought that was someone in the window. What am I on? Oh, I, at first I was like, oh! I you forgot you were on the second floor. Yeah. Well, because I can't see the fan. Only when I move to the left a little bit, that fan oh. figures. I was like, ah! All right, do you want to come on over? So yeah. Okay, so we've kept the Manu overhead. We kept the close mics. We kept everything the same except we added. Stereo room mics. These are my ST51 Sterling Audio. Uh, I have them in kind of a figure eight. That's going to be hard to see. But I have them offset from each other, so they're capturing different projections from the room. So in the mix I'm going to put up, I'm adding a little bit of compression and we're just blending it in. I'll show that process. But it is going to make the kick monstrous and open up a lot of the room.